What's going on everybody? This is Super Robot Ed and today we have in front of you the Studio Series number 72 star screen from the Transformers Bumblebee movie. I got this uh, a couple of weeks ago and I just hadn't opened it yet and I'm going to open it and we're going to do the review the way that I do the review and uh, of course if you're new here please like subscribe and share if you can um, help a brother with the algorithm help me get to a thousand trying to get monetized so I can use that extra money to buy some new toys and review more toys and so we get into it this is the box that it comes in and uh, this like I said this is my first dealing with uh, the studio series besides I only was for the Bumblebee movie besides Optimus Prime and I do have him but he's deep in storage so unfortunately he will not be in this review but this is the front of the box this is the side of the box with Starscream holding a gun looks a lot like the Blitzwing and I still need to pick up one of those just not right now here's the back of the box and it's 31 steps to get to the transformation now I wish I had Siege on deck and I don't have Siege again I put a lot of stuff up in storage so as we go through my wife wants me to stop buying toys uh, you know it goes into storage and this is the back of the box and of course this is the side of the box with that up close face and that's a nice looking face and you know now we're going to free him from prison and uh, we're going to go into jet mode and we'll be right back all right and we're back by youtube magic and we are in jet mode now jet mode is amazing why do I like this? Because it's different. Like, it's not the, pe it's not the, you know, it's Cybertronian. It has the Tetrajet look, but it almost makes sense, like, in a realistic, in their world, you know, to have this different look. And I know a lot of people at first, they will, you know, thought they would just be another, you know, flat jet or something like that. But no, this is different. This is very different and I like it. I wish I had my Siege Starscream, but I do not have him right now. And uh, I'm going to have to find him. But yeah, this is this is really nice. So, and yeah, I do like it. Like, you know, even from the bottom, I like it. I mean, that's that, you know, it's just futuristic. You know, futuristic. Um, here it is from the front, you know from the side here it is from the top and from the back and there's that it's got some nice deep thrusters there and yeah I mean this thing is just awesome I know I'm not gonna really compare it too much because it's so different from other things I know I'm it doesn't even make sense I don't have anything from the movie the only other thing that I have here is him uh earthrise star screaming they're just different you know what i'm saying like this is this is just different you know but yeah i like it i like it i just just i love it like i really do like this jet mode i mean i mean they need to make more of these you know what i'm saying and you know hasbro well they i don't know i'm surprised they released star screen first normally but i mean i guess we'll get a thundercracker sky warp you know down the line but yeah it's just so different and you know but they're the same size in a sense let's see let's see I don't have a ruler but let's look at you know they are yeah you know about the same size standing up he's in jet mode he's a hair a bit longer but with these tippy ends to the tip he's they're about the same so we're gonna move all that out the way and we're gonna transform and this is not a lot of fun to transform there's a lot of folding parts here so if I mess up I don't want to hear any noise like I don't want to hear the cheering section you just got to do this and you forgot to do that you work for Hasbro nah because they don't they don't send you free swag <laughs> they don't send me free swag either so what the heck am I talking about so you just unfold the arms that would be the first thing I do and you know back here with these panels just detach everything just just detach everything just 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 
you know, I don't boy saying, do what I tell you. And when I first got this, and I saw how the the legs were, I really thought this was missing a piece, but it's just in here. So, yeah, I kind of panicked. Was ready to go back to the store. It's about to, you know, flail on Hasbro like, you people can't get your stuff straight. You know. And of course, you gotta fold these in again. And there's Starscream's head. And there's 50% of the body. And that folds back. Yeah, it's gonna be fun, I can tell you. Yeah, it's 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 fun. And then with the legs, what you wanna do is unhook everything. You'll see it right there. My hand is right there. And just fold it down. Then just fold that down again. Fold the feet down, and I believe everything just kind of folds in like that. Booyah! Reason why I say that because these parts right here kind of gave me grief when I first, you know, was playing with the toy and everything. You know, like it just weird. I, I don't, I don't care for any of this transformation whatsoever. Like, and this because it's going back in the box because I don't have room to put it anywhere. And fold the feet down, and you got the legs, but I'm missing something. I know I got to do something with that panel here. It's just, I think it folds. No. That folds up like that. And there are the feet. And once you do that, you kind of just bring those in. And they kind of fold out that way. After that, just bring the legs down. And then what you want to do next is unfurl the fist, twist that around, unfurl the fist again. And then you can slide these out. And yeah, they come off. It's not really much you can do about that. And then you just twist it and that's how you get the the wing fold. Do the same thing on the other side. You gotta fan it right there. Twist that. And then get that there. And basically you should have everything in the back just like you saw it. See how it all folds up. And then just underneath the feet. And then you put these weak peg guns. So one goes here. I still don't know why they, these things don't really stay. When you put one right there, and then you just kind of peg in the gun in his hand, and voila! You got the robot mode. You got the robot mode. And like I said, just kind of flail out the feet. And there you go. And he is ready. And then after that, we're going to go and do the next part where we review the robot mode. We'll be right back in a few moments. All right, we're back by YouTube Magic. And we're going to go over some articulation points with uh, Starscream here. We're going to do some comparisons. And uh, right off the back, I want to tell everybody, I noticed this transformation at the nose cone chest is very similar to that of the newer Macross toys and figures and designs engineering in a sense starting with the yf-19 going into now the vf-31 and macross f i just noticed that because it's the same type of almost chest you create the chest from part of the cockpit folding in 
to the top part of, to the top part of the cockpit and i think that's pretty cool he does kind of remind me of macross jet um you know and this is his gun in the robot mode now and it looks cool and the arms can do a 360 but you'll have to fold back the wings these are very loose by the way so they'll come off and you can see it kind of trying to come apart there that's all right and then after that you know we can do the arms out to here the hand does not swivel but he does have an elbow and of course the hand can do that if you want to do some weird hand poses only because it could fold in there um he's got some nice little you know fingers they're not articulated but you know they work and the gun fits in the hand and the leg you know bends at the knee he's got foot pivot um he can stand his leg out to here he can also be careful with the guns there kind of do his leg behind there if you want it's probably going to go about right there and yeah he looks awesome uh nice awesome figure um yeah i like it i like it i like it a lot and uh yeah let's take a quick peek at the head and the head is very nice you can see that there i mean that pulls a bit that head it's not too poseable doesn't go up and down but he does do a 360 at the head if you want to do the 360 and spinning exorcist flaming spewing throwing up stuff but yeah he does a good job on that and uh now we're just going to do some quick comparisons we're going to pivot the feet so he could stand up straight and i gotta hurry up because i'm getting hungry all right and first things first we got mmc's version of brawn which is gravis i believe i prefer him as brawn and he's pretty close in size i'd say he's about a larger you know middle middle of the road deluxe so let's pick a deluxe size we can trust for some of you you might complain but i just like playing with that brawn and it's huffer that's on deck today one of your smaller deluxes and yeah that's about the size of it and then compared to someone who is the same size as him almost in a sense we have voyager inferno who's about a little bit shorter than him you know which i you know find interesting but yeah and then of course if you want to see an even more sizable comparison we will use leader class grimlock because this i don't have any other studio series toys and you can see he's towering over them and we're gonna take them out of the frame and we're gonna bring in starscream from earthrise all the way from the earth from probably another dimension and as you can see here you know he's actually bigger than stars than earthrise starscream um yeah and but other than that though his everything's bigger the legs the arms you know but yeah it's a cool looking figure i mean i like it so uh we're gonna pause for the cause and we're gonna do the final thoughts along with the backdrop that you get from uh the movie so hang tight all right final thoughts overall this is a great figure for the show that it's in i mean for the movie that it's in excuse me for saying show um i won't say that i 100 percent like it because me personally i don't think there's anything wrong with it i just don't collect movie toys that being said there's some things you know i'm not very happy about i don't like the wings i just they just i they just look like they hang off too much and they're too wide and just to get him in this backdrop I had to you know do some finagling to get him there um you know this mold to me is more suited for blitzwing um i don't think that i think they should have probably did like more changes in a sense but again it's still a great looking figure the paint is striking the uh uh everything about it the details they just pop and i like that i do like that um and I'm kind of glad they did that. I mean, they, they kind of gave it more detail popping than they did with Studio Series Optimus Prime from the Bumblebee movie. 
uh, you know. So overall, I would say go out and get them if you're a fan of the movie, Bumblebee movie. The Bumblebee movie was good. So yeah, pick them up. Um, if you're a fan of Starscream, pick them up. I picked them up because I'm just a, you know, Starscream fan. I still like every Starscream. I don't like, you know, the one that turns into the F-22 Raptor from the Bay movies. I think he just looks like a bunch of Dorito chips stacked together. But this looks very nice. The details, the presentation, everything works. The backdrop from the battle on Cybertron. Um, it, I guess that would be Icon or a city. I don't know what city it is. I'm just making up stuff. You experts will, of course, chime in. Other than that, I think it looks great uh, for a Voyager. Uh, the price point is great. The materials feel great. Um, yeah, so you should pick them up. I mean, I would give them maybe uh, 8 out of 10. Because, like I say, in my personal opinion, there's certain things I don't like. I don't, like I say, I, I, I can nitpick all day. But I don't really need to do all that. He's still a good figure at the end of the day. Um, so, yeah, pick him up. Uh, at your local retailers, he's available now. Don't wait till it's too late. You know, you pay the late tax, as they say. Um, you know, so. <laughs> my name is Super Robot Ed, and this is my review of Studio Series 72 Starscream from the Bumblebee movie. And please, again, like, subscribe, and share. And I thank you so much for watching, and you guys have a great and lovely day.